All right, you wonderful soul. It's time to dive in and get a bit passionate and uh, search for that detail and context when it comes to the... That was a... Certainly that was a wonderful search for the context. Behind this week's Song of the Week choice, supplied by Paps, the three-piece out of Germany. And this is a fairly certain... This is the 48th Song of the Week choice via whatwasatradio.com, a place if you are new here to discover true modern rock Nothing older than 2017, over 5,000 bands and songs that have released music, 90% of it from 2020 onwards. It is truly, in the moment, modern knee rocky. Oh, boy. It has been an incredible flipping day. Went to work, cut a bunch of fruit in the produce department at Eagle Creek, Eagle Creek Quality Boots, <laughs> and then came back mid-shift to do an interview and conversation with Mr. Dan Campbell of The Wonder Years, and then went for Harley's school pickup to surprise him, and I ended up playing, initially it was just the, just the two of us, just the two of us, and Johnny loves you, <laughs> just the two of us. Anyway, playing on, uh, Jody was there too, obviously, and holding the tea so I could get physical. Let's get physical. Okay. Tired brain is just scooping out all the references and starting to make them jingles inspired by the melodies of which created the songs in the first place and planted that seed in my flipping head. But we were playing like this game of tag sort of thing. He's up on the kids' jungle gym. I can't climb up it. And then all of a sudden, it felt like 30,000 of the kids noticed. Maybe three noticed, and there was 10, and there was 15, and there was 20 kids just running the muck around me like, do this, do that, let's go. Parent, playtime. This parent's actually playing. Let's go. I'm not even... Really, I'm not even anyone's parent here. But I'll, And then I was like, where's Harley, for goodness sake? So then we actually disconnected, went looking for some lizards and snakes in the school grounds. And it's just been such an awesome day. Cooked a big, those tofu, turkey, Christmas and, and like Thanksgiving jobbies are back. Oh, my God, it's so good. Cooked a big roast dinner tonight, potatoes and sweet potatoes and carrots and sprouts for Jody. Forgot to get the runner beans. And, you know, usual roast stuff. Had a great, I'm just, and then we watched them nailed it. Oh, I'm clinging on to being awake, to be honest with you. But I, I adore this band so much. And while sometimes I'm not comfortable in doing the sort of more tired John videos and, and passionate deep dives, I feel that uh, I'm in a great, I'm in a great hate space. I'm in my headspace feeling real good. So let's do it. All right, let's dive in. I've realized that I haven't updated the website. If you were to go to, oh gosh, don't open on that screen. Open on this one, my friend. If you were to go to the website right now and go to music and song of the week, it's still Chase the Bear from last week. I've been waiting for the band to send me a little bit of context and a quote on the song. And when I get that, I'll update the site. But at the same time, I probably really should have on a Thursday made some kind of template and written what I think about it, which is what I do anyway. I've just been go, go, go this week. And that's not an excuse. It's been an awesome week, but I'll get to it. So why did I just shut that? Yeah, there we go. Let's search Paps the Band. I didn't spell that right at all, did I? The Band. Paps the Band. Their bio, which has now disappeared. loo do 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 Reads Papster, a Berlin based power trio who are ready to transcend the definitions of what? Let's bring up Spotify. Maybe it's on there instead. Papst. As always with these videos, no prep. We just deal with it in the moment. And I hit record and we do not stop, my friend. They are a band, kind of nice. Please check out. Fabulous. I'm glad we expanded on that. What if we were to search Bandcamp? Do they have a Bandcamp? Yes, they do. Here's where we'll get it. Papster, a Berlin-based trio who are ready to transcend definitions of modern rock music in an era where grunge has been marginalized into a fashion statement. Paps revitalized the genre with elements of noise rock, stoner rock, and R&B. Everything they have done, and, and to be clear, I discovered them only if about four, I don't know, within the last six months for sure. Everything they've done is incredible. It drips with authenticity. It drips with sarcasm and fun. And I'm there for it. I'm down with it. Crushed by the weight of the world, the latest record that came out last week, as I record this on September the 22nd, 2022, is a goddamn clinic. It is one of my favorite records uh, released September the 2nd. All right, a few weeks back, 20 days ago. Come on, brain, catch up. Have we even done the intro yet? Here's a really high-end intro I made. Oh, bro, it's just like... <laughs> Song of the week. 
There you go. <laughs> Two years ago, perhaps... Oh, this is in German, isn't it? Okay, is there an English one? Uh, perhaps in a skate park. Is this in German? I've got a fun fact about German, which is that I learned German many years ago at school, half a lifetime to go and more, and, and then some. But my German teacher, Mr. North, who I... I loved Mr. North. He was such a wonderful soul. But he taught French and German, and he taught us a French... It sounded, I was told I sound like a French person trying to speak German, and I can't speak French. So riddle me that. Let's figure out how this... Let's see what we can do. Also wir hatten halt einfach, einfach Bock auf so eine Band. So. Also egal, ob wir da irgendwie einmal im Jahr oder einmal im Monat auf einer Autohauseröffnung spielen oder so wie es jetzt dann eher gekommen ist, so letztes Jahr 75 Konzerte. Something about how skating and being in a band go hand in hand and that here in Germany we try and find skate parks that we can set up our band in and then perform whilst we skate and that the history of those two go hand in hand with that sort of punk... Uh, Am I, I feel like I'm reaching here. Let's try and find something else. This is Crushed, the song of the week choice that we'll get to. Absolutely. Oh, a live stream from 2020. Back in the day. Hello Kitty Guitar, are you shitting me? That is flipping hilarious. I'm not laughing. I realize that now. Is that a Squire too? Very customizable. The green screen is so fascinating. Is this is this live? Is this actually live? Was this actually a live stream? God, I wish I was better at speaking German. All right. Is that kiss me? They've done a cover. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. Six pence none the richer. My God. This was on a now cassette from when I was a kid, innit? Here we go. I like this. I, don't, I, I, I think if I was a bit more less tired than I am, I would be getting maybe self-conscious or anxious about the fact that this is just so loosey-goosey. It has... It, it's it's like when we were watching Nailed It, the baking show, which is basically, if you don't know and you haven't watched it before, something that you should check out is where people that can't bake try and bake and then the, the best of the worst wins. And it's set up to fail because you, many of the cakes in the first task, they've only got two or three minutes to chill them. And if they put it in a blast chiller, most people don't understand what that is. So you need to remove the cake from the pan. We've watched a lot of cooking shows. I'm not. This is not some flex. I can't cook uh, cakes. My dad loves baking, but that's a side note. If you put it in the blast chiller, then you try, you've got to smash it out or cut it out because you need to take it out before you chill it. But if you if you do make that mistake and you're baking at home and you put it in a blast chiller that I'm sure we all have as average homeowners. <clears throat> uh, Jacques says, put it back in the oven, right? Reloose and take it out, tip it up, boom, right? Just if that makes sense. Now, why did, how did I get on to speaking about this? Right, because a lot of the time they're set up to fail because it's so hot, then they put the uh, whatever glaze or creams or whatever sauce, or that's probably not any baking terms whatsoever, and then the fondant over top of it or fondant, and then it just melts and falls apart because the cake's so hot, it just melts everything else and they collapse, and it's hilarious, but nailed it, it's great. Now, why did I start speaking about, right, because I feel like this is going to be nonsense, but a lot of fun. So let's just check out this cover. Mm. 
and clinging on. I think this is brilliant already. I love the fact that there's just death all over the T-shirt to this wonderful love song. I love the Hello Kitty guitar. I know it seemed very dry and, and sarcastic when I initially said it, but whilst I'm not a Hello Kitty fan, I love the energy of even just having that as a guitar and publicly playing it. it says a lot about the person, says a lot about the person that I'd like to get to know because I want to soak up some of that confidence. I mean, look at it. It's just so cool. Is it a squire? And, I, and again, no shade towards the squire. My old bandmate had a squire and he loved them because in most cases they were better than certain Fender builds, depending on what level of money you could afford to do things. But if you wanted to get a cheap guitar and then tear it apart and, re, and use the frame to build and do your own thing as he did, apparently really good. And uh, can you tell I'm not a guitar player? I like that the drums you sound like were literally in in the room with the drums that there's I love that they've left a bit more top end on that hi-hat so it really pounces through the mix at you it really stands out but it's not overbearing sometimes that can be a bit too washy and it just gets a bit too too much but I really like the drum sound here that's that's sweet i don't let's keep discovering let's keep discovering so when it comes to the most recent record well let's just check let's go back oh track by track now are these all in this is track by track guides of a, the record from a couple of years ago so is this ibuprofen's run through which one's this Okay. One, two, three, four. So, uh, wie geht's denn? Was, was passiert hier irgendwie gerade? Also definitiv war besonders, dass wir das Album live aufgenommen haben, weil wir gemerkt haben, dass oh God. wir bei dem Album davor um, songs done also live. I die, wish I had retained German in my mind. <laughs> I can't understand any of it. Uh, all right. Where should we go from here? Do we go back in time? I think you guys need to see Ibuprofen because it's, they're just, it, it's, it's just very good, number one, but they're just such a fun band.
Oh, my God. These guys just rule, don't they? I mean, everything, the colors, the art, the direction of the videos, from just the two or three samples we've seen right now, they love a good green screen, that's for sure. They got some really talented friends as well that helped them with all this because, man, the set design is so cool. I love all these fuzzy, wuzzy, flipping guitars. R.I.P. Wuzzy, the, uh, what was that radio caterpillar that got squashed in the summer last? So good. So flipping good. I'll show you from the same record. Let's check out a bit of... Uh, every song they do is just such dynamite to me. But in terms of quirky videos, let's check a bit of Apocalypse. Looked like me for a split second there, didn't it? Like me, Blair Witch Project style. Yeah. Too tired to get the right pause on it. Way through for you. Don't know well, actually, I'm just realizing that I've been gabbing away for 17 minutes about a whole lot of nothing. So let's hone in on the latest record. Let's dive into it. The whole album lives on what was at radio.com. Mercy Stroke was the first that appeared video wise. We'll do. Oh, that's a live version of Mercy Stroke. We'll check that. There's Locker Room. There's Locker Room Live as well. There's No Future, No Thanks. Daddy's Boy is so good and crushed, obviously, the Song of the Week choice. So let's work our way towards that. Again, how good and how diverse are their videos? They're just so colorful and impactful and fun. Fun is the key word with this band. If there's going to be one sensible and sensical moment of this entire Song of the Week deep dive video, it's that Pabst are a band that I'm desperate, and I use that word aware of, that it might contain some clingy connotation. I'm desperate to get to know them because they just seem so fun. It's so refreshing. It's so authentic. This doesn't sound like a band trying to be like a band that inspired them. It sounds like a band that have been inspired by, have taught themselves, have galvanized themselves to put music together and in turn are making music that will inspire and galvanize someone else because it just oozes this cool factor. And I'd love to see them live as well because it's just go, 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 go. Now, there are slower songs in their arsenal. There are slower moments in their arsenal. But this is a band that for me is stand and deliver They've got great consistent tone, great consistent mix when it comes to everything they've produced and recorded so far. And then you see these music videos. And this is a serious, serious band. But at the same time, whilst they appear serious with great website, great merch, great video design, great production, and all the business side of things music, that doesn't mean they're serious people. They've got a serious approach to having a hell of a lot of fun.
I would love to see this band do a little world tour with Bong Lord and with Wine Lips. Bong Lord also from Europe, Wine Lips from North America here in Canada. I think they would all complement each other very well. It would be a raucous show and evening, that is for sure. And I think they would all get along like a house on flipping fire. I've had conversations with Wine Lips and Bong Lord. If you're interested, you can go to whatwasatradio.com slash podcast. And I will hopefully be having a conversation with Pabst in a not too distant future as well. Let's move on to the live version of this in a junkyard, which is really flipping good and clearly a chilly day. to show you how fucking good this band is what what difference do you hear other than the setting around them that bleeds into the microphone and affects the tone what do you hear any different because it's just, it's just absolute class for goodness sake here's locker room let's skip a little bit in when I, I was desperate not to be on sport teams at school like every, you know just hiding behind the last guy or just not even leaving and going out onto the pitch and just being like yeah I wonder if I just take an extended toilet break and anyone notices I'm not there I just think that this band as well the melodies it just screams sing along but in the sense of that you already know what the melody is right is this a classic energy to their melodies that you could just find yourself i'm just at the show it's the third song into the set but i feel like i know how i want to be when i sing at the pap show it's so catchy though right it's just brilliant let's move on to uh no future no thanks no Yet again, another brilliant video. Oh, do you know what I just realized? I just remembered that last week I ordered a bunch of glow-in-the-dark vinyl from their website that they're going to sign... Why didn't they have the website linked on uh, the old band camp? I thought people sometimes do. That's all right. Let's search perhaps the band. Go to the website. Down, 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 down. Shop. Yeah. And they've got a couple of shows they're playing. Oh, have I been messaging them when they're in the middle of playing shows? Well, no wonder they've been so busy this week. If I had checked the website, I would have seen they're playing shows every bloody night. Rude, Rude of me. Of me. Anyway, down here, Crushed LP Limited. We got a bunch of these on the way. Look at this. How cool is this? I'll zoom it in for you, Steve. That's as far as it lets me go. Glow in the dark. Just everything they do is so good. All 500 stuck limited. There's 500 limited worldwide, and we've got five of them on the way to Canada. For what was that radio? Mm hmm, mm hmm, hmm, mm hmm. All right, Daddy's Boy. This is so good. 
speaking of great catchy melodies that just get hooked in you, subconsciously and consciously, may you dream of this one tonight. Absolute quality. I'm just realizing that I'm pretty sure this was a what was five situation a couple of months back. And maybe I was more awake on that Sunday evening. Every every Sunday, I'll put together a video, hit record and stop when it ends, usually around 45 minutes to an hour of my favorite five modern rock alternative releases of the week and just deep dive much like this, but a bit more particular and energized and just deep dive those bands in the context around it and research them a bit more. Just discover. It's just all about discovery. That's why I'm growing into being okay with doing these tired because there's no rhyme or reason there's no particular way i go about putting these together it's just hit record and what comes out comes out for goodness sake this is probably a really long way of going back in time to check it via the patreon isn't it but i feel like maybe if i check the spotify playlist i feel like it was only two or three what was fives ago what was five um do 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 i know this is pretty illegible for you right now yeah daddy's boy so that was one two three four five six weeks ago so i mean if i'm feeling up for it i might even just cut to myself from that video way back when and share a little nugget of what i spoke about with regard to this song No, you can't be asked. Just a little bit, for God's sake. Sweet. Let's get back to the most recent moment. The most re <laughs> you can preach again. Sweet, yeah, that's totally awesome. Good. <clears throat> So the song of the week choice this week is a song called Crushed by Pabst. Oh, I tell you what I should do is I should check. Is this the 48th song of the week choice? Oh, nice. Well done, you. Great job, Jonathan. So Crushed. What I adore about this, as I mentioned on the air when I spoke about it, this point is pointless i'll just tell you what i think about it which is that i adore the fact that in order to love once uh, hang on a second oh i actually did do some extra work Usually this is just a hit record and then stop and don't do any editing or anything in between. But apparently I, I'm willing to be. <sighs> oh, this might need some new batteries in it. 
I don't think I've changed the batteries on this in like, I don't think I ever have. How long have I had this for? Easily 20 years at this point. Have I changed the batteries in this? This isn't even a bit. Did I, did I, did I actually cut in the other video? I did. Wow. I'm so intrigued. I'm going to have to think. I'm going to, I, maybe now being super tired isn't the best time to think about it. This week's song of the choice in the 48th pick at that when it comes to what was at radio.com and a group called Pabst have supplied it is Crushed. What I adore about this song is many things and we're going to get into that right now. The first and foremost being lyrically talking about loving yourself, accepting yourself in order to love more around you. That is a fickle, that is a flipping trip, man. Life's a trip. Life's a trip, Jody. Get that on a t-shirt. Jody's my partner and she has done that, just to be clear. Is that the third time during? I have no idea what time is a concept, and I have a memory of a goldfish. You can bridge the gap and Before you can love anybody else, you gotta make love with yourself. I'm just adding a few words. And I think that's in a nutshell why this song instantly grabbed me and captivated me is that that's something that I've spent most of my life on is self-acceptance and trying to love myself and then appreciate myself. And from there, trying to springboard into actually authentically doing what I love doing and what I see as a chance of growing and learning and just like a sponge trying to soak up knowledge around me, whether that's from speaking with all these artists over the last 15 years or when I go and stack produce, the best way to stack tomatoes, the best way to cut pineapple from Tammy teaching me, whatever it is just adding constant skill sets and purpose to oneself in order to drive forward in this monotonous at times and fickle world that we live on and planet and system that we're within and how it could become very taxing and tiring. Well, every day is a new adventure, whether it's as mundane or as simple as cutting those tomatoes to put on your flipping burger or cutting some pineapple for people that can't be asked to cut it at home. And then you're like, well, I've got to learn to cut. and I, They're going to buy it and I cut it. I hope they like really weird chunks of pineapple. But then with practice and repetition, I've become quite the pineapple cutter connoisseur. That's a flipping mouthful of a sentence. This band with this song took every box of what I've been telling myself for years and years and years. It's okay. From the body dysmorphia as a kid after being sexually abused as a 10 year old and thinking that when I looked at myself in the mirror or saw any reflection or any picture, that is a disgusting human being. Why would, anyone, why, why would they touch it? Why did they touch it? Why would anyone else want to touch it? So then when walking around in the rain and being reminded of when they were trying to drown me in a flipping toilet i should have said disclaimer maybe but crying when it rained crying fearing showers and baths it took years to fall in love with myself properly and i would say only really in the last handful of months have i felt i've made the next big stride after some incredible strides the last 15 years especially the last 10 12 years in this country of canada but from what I've learned from Jody and Harley, I feel like I'm a, and that's what you would hope for, right? Here's my approach is every day, these are my right foot, left foot. Every day, I'm not trying to better the day before. I'm not trying to go out of shot and out of the camera frame there and taking a big stride. It's about taking those mini and then bringing up the left foot to match the next day, right? That's my, that's the evolution I'm trying to do. For years, I tried to jump and skip and miss little nuances that needed to be addressed that were in, in turn very powerful for making sure the strides were consistently actually positive rather than detrimental and you fall back further than you thought you stepped for because you didn't deal with that crux of an issue properly in the first place, if that makes sense, like with me talking about what I just shared with the abuse and self-love, right? It's just step by step by step. Bring it, match it, bring it, match it. And if you have a slightly bigger day, that's great, but don't put the pressure on yourself even though when I'm tired, right? Moments like this can become very fickle for me when I'm tired like this. I might look back at this tonight and say, nah, I'm not going to upload it, but I will because it was me in this moment. That's why it's hit record and hit stop at the end of it other than putting in the cheeky flashback to what was five. So this song reminds me of my personal trip the last 20 years. They're not singing about me, but that's the beauty of music. You can take that template and apply it to yourself, your world, your community. Before you can love, you've got to have a crush on yourself. Love's a big word. 
love and hate get thrown around very loosely, I feel. I've said this many times before. I feel that people say hate for simply not liking something. I hate that song. You just don't like it. You don't hate it, I believe. I love that. I love, I love that. That's, I love that. What is this, California? You can't love everything. Be more selective with your love. I'm sassing my own point, but I think you're getting what I'm putting down here. You can really like something. You don't need to love it. And it speaks to how we can falsify our words and in turn by falsifying, nullify the very point we're trying to make. It's getting very deep, isn't it? That's what I like doing. Then when I watched the video, I love the fact that you've got that contrast for me as a 35-year-old man looking at these guys in their, what, late 40s, 50s or early 60s, right? That next generation above me and what they're going through and processing in this video that we'll watch, obviously, now that I can verbal diarrhea, shut up. But here we go. I think that line's great too. Don't let the bastards push you down. Say the bastards as they push you to the ground, right? Whether that's a metaphor for oneself and multiple thoughts floating around, keeping someone down in the dirt, which is really themselves, just keeping themselves down there, or whether that is actually, whether that is actually the bullies themselves who have gathered around the target and are saying, ah, you can be better than this. This is classic. It's so simple. It's so effective. When I say it's so classic, I mean, like, for me, it's classic in the sense of there was never just the one or two, it was three, four, five, like, oh, great, cool, how am I going to possibly get out of this situation? And why have I invited it? How can I stop that? <laughs> Maybe by getting a crush on yourself before you can love someone else, which is you and others. <laughs> giving me serious Alan Rickman drinks tea vibes. You need to Google that and YouTube that right now. Well, after this, uh, after, after this, after this. Thank you. Side note, that is one of the most fancy lemon squeezy I've ever seen in my life. How decadent. From the scrapyard to the Shard Hotel. I hope that's his actual toothbrush and not one he found in the back of that truck in the scrapyard. He might want to, I don't know if it's appropriate to say get a rabies shot after brushing your teeth with that. I'm not sure. True story, there are cassettes of this out there if you're able to get them. I'm pretty sure. Now, I've seen people do this with trees, but the first time I've seen someone do this with old, broken down engineering machine tools. Each to their own now, right? Yeah. 
this who is this guy he's legendary he's so good i swear they mentioned him somewhere was it on instagram where they mentioned him the band kind of nice please check out perhaps they're berlin based yeah, yeah, yeah. starring Josef volmer uh Josef volmer <laughs> just uh, just amazing um oh yes uh and the award for best ivico laurie hugger goes to Josef volmer of Paps the Band. Uh, your prize is a, a bobby pin Iveco because we couldn't afford to make... Um, it's just a bobby pin. We couldn't afford to... We were going to make buttons, but we couldn't. Um, Yes, you could use it as a tie clip. We realized uh, that you don't have enough hair to... We, look, we didn't know who the winner was going to be when we thought of the bobby pin idea. And uh, yeah, tie clip, tie clip. That's fine. And that's what I love about this video is it's it's bravery, right? It's bravery and it's fun and how that juxtapos the juxtaposition between the lyrical journey here and what we're seeing visually is really ramming home the flipping message. You are an individual. What makes you happy? What brings you joy? And how you go about searching for that and, and doing such things that brings you the joy in the first place is down to you. As long as you're loving yourself, you're loving life, don't overthink it. Just get at it. And we've seen this man do everything in in a handful of minutes that I that would have haunted me as a kid. What's he doing? He's doing this on camera. Was he hugging a truck? I mean, I didn't have nightmares of hugging trucks. <laughs> Did I just say fucking trucks or of hugging, hugging trucks? <laughs> Let's just watch the last twenty seconds. Suit looks badass now. Yeah, why not? Just a couple of fish. You know? It just it just seems to me like there was a meeting and uh, someone was really adamant about getting a couple of fish in there. And there it is. It's happened. It's it's real, it's legit. I, I'll be honest with you, I have no idea what happened in the last 44 minutes, but I know it was a lot of fun because Paps brought that. And um, here's the cat. You going to jump up? I guess you were asleep this whole time. Just here, you can't. Just out of shot. I think they're shooting Nerf guns into the bathwater upstairs. Go and get involved in that. That's it. Song of the week, deep dive, passionate. What the fuck was this video? 48. Thank you very much for your time. If you're watching this and you're a Patreon member, then why don't you go ahead and email me and say, I love Paps the Band and maybe you'll win some goodies from them. Oh, jump up then. Jump up. He is sassing me hard right now. Look at this guy down here. Down here. The other way. There, look, look at this. You little sassy bugger. Well, jump up then. This is classic. He, he asks for attention and then walks away from you. Yeah, jump up, mate. Holding up the video, Mr. Theo. Yeah, you're holding up the videos. Is that comfortable for you? There you go. Get on the lap. Oh, are we still recording? You just hit the space bar. That could have cancelled it. It could have cancelled it. You could tell I'm tired because I'm doing a voice speaking at you like you're only one day old now. And you don't know what it is to know what this voice is, do you? It's just the voice that we use for babies and animals and kiddies. You want to stroke your face on there? Good boy. All right, onto the bed he goes. 
Whatever you're doing, I honestly, I've, I, I, I genuinely mean this when I say it. I have no idea what just happened in the last 46 minutes other than it was centered around Paps the Band, who I flipping adore, and I cannot wait to speak with. And there's enough chance that they're watching this or watch this at any given moment. Yes, what I was saying, Patreon. This goes to Patreon members first, then a few weeks after that, it will hit YouTube, and then we'll see what the hell happens with that. So if you're discovering this afterwards, what was that? Radio.com is a place to dive into true modern rock music discovery. It's my baby. And just thanks for your time. Thank you so much for your time, especially if you watched it all the way to this point. Whatever you're doing the rest of your day, and as always, please look after yourself. I hope there's some fun and smiles involved in the rest of it too. Why? Because we've got to cherish that positive. He is aggressively cleaning his uh, paws right now. You know when a cat's like... <laughs> That's what I can hear. Good. Cleanliness is lovely. Really is. I'm not shaming him for being clean. Just so we're clear. Did I do the extra? Yeah. Cheerio.